Alright, so I'm making this video just really quickly. Uh, kind of like a first impressions thing. I know nobody gives a shit, but you know, I was kind of hoping this game would be at least somewhat good, but it's just, it's honestly terrible. Uh, I play, now for the record, I only play hardcore. So, you know, the hardcore is a different ball game in terms of meta and all that stuff. So it's like, let me, <laughs> let me just start off with these fucking things, man. These need to be deleted from the fucking game, okay? Literally, these are the stupidest fucking thing they ever added. Like, if you thought C4 spamming was annoying, where you throw a C4 with amped and just fucking instantly detonate that shit, fuck no. We're just gonna delete that step. You just pull this thing out and heads in a split second and fucking throw it and it explodes. Okay, so... Oh, just, just, just run, uh, Fortified, aka EOD. Nope, doesn't save you, uh, which kind of goes into my next point. Uh, f this perk is literally completely 100% fucking useless in hardcore. There is absolutely no reason to run this thing, uh, sort of. Okay, so I the, the game I just got out of, the whole team was spamming those Ganon, uh, Gamma, whatever, fucking Gamma Bombs, or, I said Ganon, uh, they, they were spamming that shit, and one guy on their team had Fortified on, I guess, because I threw I threw the bomb at him, and it didn't kill him, and, but I got the little, like, armor break thing, so either he was running the, the armor plates, which I haven't unlocked, so I don't really know how those work, or he was running this, uh, but I tested that, like, I tried doing the whole crouching for double uh, damage reduction or whatever, and, you know, I, I tried doing that. And I died to everything that was an explosive to me. Okay, this this perk in, in hardcore, dear developers, needs to work exactly how it did in, in Modern Warfare. Now, uh, for the record, I didn't play Black Ops because fuck that game. Uh, I've been playing Modern Warfare since it came out. So, EOD let you survive any explosion one time, basically. Like, to get to the just quick summary of it, okay? This doesn't do anything, okay? If you get hit by any explosion, no matter what, you should live one time. And therefore, like in Modern Warfare, I used to run stim, so I get hit by an explosive, stim up, okay, cool, now I can live in another explosive. That's how it should work in this game for hardcore. This perk is worthless and stupid, okay? And, and again, this is just first impressions, this isn't, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand everything uh, as it is now. Um... Yeah, that's for all explosives. Like, grenades... Man, I could talk about this for... Like, the sound in this game is terrible, okay? Like, in, in Modern Warfare, if you heard a guy... Like, you could hear a Semtex grenade, right? You know, because the beeping. You could hear a frag grenade because it would hit, make the metal sound when it hit the ground and, like, rolled around. You could hear that shit. And, you know, you could eat that grenade, uh, you know, if you had EOD, so it's not a big deal anyway. In this game, bro, these grenades are fucking ninja grenades. You can't hear them if they're on the ground. Like, it, you just, you're just running. Some guy spawns in on the enemy team, chucks a grenade across the map. You can't hear that shit. You're just running along, and then, boom, you fucking die. Like, it, it's terrible. And, uh, thermites were kind of annoying, but whatever. I only, I just saw them in that last game. Some guy was throwing these, but uh, they're fine. Uh, sort of. Um, but yeah, these need to be deleted. Like, bro, what happened to the sticky grenade? Like, World War II had it. Call of Duty World War II. That game literally had the sticky grenade. Not to mention it was like, you know, uh, like an OG thing. Like, World at War had it. You know, and then that game, like, I'm... Why, like, it's cool that they wanted to add something new. Like, maybe, I don't, I've never even heard of these things. Maybe, it looks like some sort of Japanese grenade, but, like, and that's cool that they wanted to try something new, but, like, what was wrong with the sticker grenade? Could this thing at least have, like, a shorter fuse, but, like, you know, like a smaller explosive range, you know? Could it could it just do that, or, you know? Like, the sticker grenade was, like, kind of annoying, but, one... You know, it didn't explode on impact. It had a short fuse, so you could only you couldn't throw it across the map, and you know because it had it still had the fuse. But but this thing, mate, you can spawn in and throw it as far as you want, or well, not as you want, but it, you know it throws far like a grenade, and it just blows up. It's fucking stupid. Like they're little the little fucking nukes. They're noob tubes. That's what they are. They need to be deleted from the game, <laughs> or EOD needs to actually work. And man, and. Just, just make the fucking, I don't know, just make them slower, like, you have to throw them longer, you know, make, I don't know, just, like, like, this game's core, it, like, sadly, is, is broken in terms of the sound design, like, there's so many things wrong with this game, the sound design is fucking abysmal, like, I don't even, I don't even run Ninja, okay, 
I can't hear anybody, whether they have ninja or not. Like, I can hear people without ninja until they're, like, five fucking feet in front of me. Like, the sound is terrible. It's like, the developer's like, okay, well, everybody was complaining about how loud fucking Modern Warfare was, so let's just make everything the complete opposite. Now you can't hear anything. Honestly, I'd rather have the Modern Warfare style, because at least, at least there were ways to circumvent it. Dead Silence being a field upgrade, you could crouch, you could aim walk, you know? It's like, in this game, it's like, well, tough shit, you just... Like, it's just, it's just, I get killed in the back so many times in this game, I almost never get killed in the back in, in Modern Warfare, because at least by the time I die, I've already heard the person, unless they're running dead silence, I've already heard the person, and I've turned around to engage them, In this game is just like, oh, well, you die, it's like, okay, cool, you know, awesome, but yeah, that... <sighs> I, I just want like I just played a game where the, literally everybody on the enemy team like we, we all switched to them because literally everybody on their team was running shrapnel with this fucking thing this is the stupidest fucking thing okay like uh, well, it, well on the plus side at least we know people aren't going to be C4 spamming am I right like oh yay I mean I don't know and like on a final note just briefly like bro the guns are too easy to use like I I was using an M1 Grand, and granted, like I said, I play hardcore, and, like, it's a pretty good gun on that game. It's a one-shot kill everywhere, any range, it's accurate, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was using that gun, and, and I know how far the guy was, because what I did is, I was playing that beach map where it's, like, it's, like, raining and stuff with the boat, and, like, bro, I killed a guy, his tags were 100, I, I play kill confirmed, by the way, so I killed a guy, and... He, his tags were 100 meters away, and a guy lit, like, I thought he was hacking, but he wasn't. He, he literally bunny hopped 100 meters away and shot me one time. Not in the head. I just got shot in, like, the shoulder or something, and I died. And he was using the Sten from 100 meters away. He shot me one time. Like, the guns are too easy to use. Like... In, and again, I'm talking about hardcore. Like, mate, man, man, they're gonna have to rebalance all these guns for hardcore. Like, I don't, I don't know. They hit a sweet spot with Modern Warfare because, as far as I know, they didn't make any specific changes just to hardcore for guns. But like, my God, like too many. Like every single, I haven't gotten, I hardly ever get hit markered. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hardly ever get shot and live unless it's through a wall but my god every gun literally every gun kills you in one shot <sighs> uh and they're just too fast like this game is just too fast too fucking fast like i, I was i was happy at first because i was like modern warfare is fucking slow as shit but this, and i was like wow this game's gonna be fast like no it's too fast it's crackhead fast okay like, this game, it doesn't take... This is not a COD. Like, Modern Warfare, like, okay, call it what you will, but Modern Warfare was more of a quote-unquote tactical game. I, I, You know, definitely, I think we could agree on that in terms of it was slower. You had to, like... It, in my opinion, it was more about your intel rather than your aim time, reactions, you know, all that fucking gay shit. Like, this game is... is for those crackhead players that can't stand standing still for more than a half second. Like, if, if you like running around just jumping everywhere and shit, like, that's great. You know, this is the game for you. It's not for me. I'm going back to Modern Warfare. Uh, well, I won't even, I won't even, and don't even get me started on the, like, <laughs> I know this, this is going to make me uh, canceled or whatever, but, bro, the amount of females in this game is stupid. When I heard they were going to tell that story, I haven't played the campaign yet, but when I heard they were going to tell the story about the Russian sniper, I was like, hey, that's pretty cool, you know, that's a good excuse to have a, a female operator in the game. Nope, we got fucking seven! Or right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six. One, two... Three, four, five, six. We literally have the exact same. Cool. So we got half. We got that equality. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all I'm saying is that in Modern Warfare, that shit was fine because it was modern day. And, like, I'm not trying to sound like, oh, it's going to be historically accurate. But all I'm saying is that World at War is one of the best Call of Duty games ever made. Not a goddamn fucking female soldier in that game. Yo, you know why? Because the game was historically accurate. And it... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, let's just, I don't know, I just, I think it's kind of disrespectful, and, and if I'm being honest, like, again, if it was Modern Warfare in some fantasy, like, like, fantasy fictional land, like, you know, Modern Warfare is set in current day, but it's not, like, taking on real events, it's like, you know, same with Black Ops, uh, like, 3 and all that shit, you know, like, or Black Ops 2, like, those games are all in the future, so you can make up whatever you want, but, I mean, like, this is World War 2, and, you know, that's a real thing that happened, so I'm just kind of like, you know, like, why... 
why? Like, I looked it up one time. The amount of fucking women in World War Two is like maybe a hundred in active duty, like in the entire fucking world. Well, then again, Russia fucking employed everybody. I don't fucking anyway. This is retarded. Okay, why are there so many fucking females in this game? This is stupid. This is real fucking war. But you know, this is modern day Call of Duty, so fuck it.